An essential part of running any kind of health promotion campaign initiative is evaluation. And we talked about this a lot when we talked about the pre-seed, proceed model earlier in the semester, which you'll notice keeps coming up. Okay? You can't just run things and then be like, yeah, yeah, I think it went well. You know, you have to evaluate it. You have to evaluate, did you do what you set out to do? Did you accomplish the short-term goals that you set out to accomplish? And are you on track to accomplish the long-term goals or did you accomplish those? That's the purpose of evaluation, okay? We measure whether that initiative was successful, just like we measured whether DARE was successful and it wasn't. <laughs> so we're not gonna do it anymore. But if we had never evaluated DARE, we would maybe just keep running it, okay? Without like any feedback on what's working and what's not, okay? So we want to make sure that we actually did what we set out to do. Did it have a good effect? Um, did the theories that we kind of based the program on, were they actually applied properly? And was it a good use of resources? So maybe you had an effect, but it cost you millions and millions and millions of dollars. Was that the best use of that money? Could we, with the same investment, could we make more of a difference if we used it in this other area, okay? So this makes health promotion evidence-based because we run a program, we evaluate it, we learn our lessons, and then we take that evidence and we use it to build the next program, which is what the Icelandic model did, is it was really evidence-based. It looked at what had worked in the past, okay, and what hadn't, and then it built a model out of that. And now based on the evidence that was collected from the Icelandic model, now it's like, hey, this works. Now it builds interest for other communities to use it as well. So you'll notice that this kind of speaks to that concept of accountability, especially in health promotion where we're often using public funds. Okay, if we're using public funds, you know, people want to know, I pay a lot of taxes. Where are my taxes going? Where is my money going? Right? We need that accountability and that's why there are so many organizations that kind of speak to this concept of, or, of accountability or have messaging around accountability because it's important to use funds appropriately and to show that what we're actually spending our money on is making a difference or we're going to spend our money somewhere else. Okay? And also, if you want to keep doing things <laughs> or running the same program uh, over and over again, you want good outcome measures so you can come back to these funding bodies and say like, hey, look, look at what we were able to do with the money you gave me. If you give me more money, I could do X, Y, and Z. Okay. So this is a bit of a review from the pre-seed, proceed model, in particular the proceed part of that model. But remember that we evaluate Okay, so in the proceed model, I should just focus on this area, we evaluate. We evaluate the process first. We evaluate whether what we set out to do, we're going to use, for instance, we're going to use this strategy and these tactics based on this model. Did we actually do those things? Okay. So were we able to develop all the social media campaigns, all the brochures, all the whatever else that we set out to do, okay? And part of the reason we wanna do that is we wanna see that we properly replicated the, the particular strategies or the evidence-based methods that we set out to replicate and did we replicate them with like fidelity, like properly, like as far as how they said to do it, okay? And it's weird to use the word dosage here, but it's also about figuring out like, okay, we invested this much money in this program and we got this much effect. Hmm. Had we invested a bit less, would we have gotten a similar effect? Had we, if we invested more time and resources, would we have gotten a larger effect? What's kind of that sweet spot of like resources, time, energy, effort, money, what's the sweet spot of investment and payoff, right? That's kind of the dosage we're looking at, okay? Impact evaluation, we talked about this earlier as well, is like short-term goals, okay? So are there any immediate effects? So for instance, are people actually, for the Bell Let's Talk campaign, are actually people sharing their interaction, are they interacting with that hashtag? Are people watching the videos? And that's the good thing about like if you're doing Instagram ads or Facebook ads, they like spit out those analytics, right? If you're getting no engagements on your social media posts, 
you could argue that that's not really having an impact. If people are resharing things, retweeting things, whatever else, that might show that there's like more of an engagement in it, okay? So were goals met, okay? So people talking more about mental health, I would say that that goal is met, okay? For the Bell Let's Talk campaign. They also said that there was a decrease in stigma from before the program to after the program and pre-post data is often what we use to evaluate uh, that. Okay, so one way to, to, to develop like a pre-post questionnaire, you can actually do it at the end of a program and you can give like a, um, before this program started, I would rate my mental health as X, Y, Z. Okay, and then have a pre-section with all kind of pre-questions, okay? And then since completing this program, as a result of this program, I would rate my current mental health as, right? So directly, notice what I'm doing there is I'm directly attributing a particular result to the particular program. And with evaluation, you have to be really careful with the wording you used to make sure that it really reflects the initiative that you took and that the result was due to the initiative that you took. Okay? This kind of later stage outcome evaluation is a bit tough. It takes years often, especially if you're trying to like reduce cancer rates or reduce obesity or diabetes rates. Okay? Often it's hard to see that in a short-term campaign. Okay? But ideally we would like to look at that as well. So in this unit, the, some of the main concepts I really wanted to cover is that health promotion campaigns can be effective if they're evidence-based, they're well-planned, we really think out our goals, our strategies, our tactics, and base those on good evidence as well. We have good partners and stakeholders that are invested with us that can help us run this program, that we have a lot of involvement that from them that we ideally use the right gatekeepers to get into the places we want to get into, okay? And then, then we evaluate it. We evaluate it to make sure that we actually did what we set out to do and that the goals we set out to do were actually accomplished, okay? So that gives you an overview of health promotion campaigns, something that will be important for your third assignment.